right, Jake Riley here. Is this is this your Boston debut? Have you heard My this? Boston debut, yeah. How are you feeling about it? I'm excited. Yeah, I mean this is the this is the holy grail of American marathons. So you know, watch it on TV enough times, I'm excited to run it. Yeah. So how is your preparation going? How are you feeling? It's been a little bit tougher than ones in the past. Um, you know, for for whatever reason, call it post Olympic blues, maybe just you know differences in training. Um, it hasn't been quite as consistent hitting splits and stuff. Uh, so we kind of had to figure some things out. Uh, last four weeks or so, some things have finally started to turn around. So it's going a little bit better now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think based if if it goes the way the last four weeks have gone, this is going to be a good day. If it's kind of what the beginning of the build up was, it could be a little bit rough out there. But you know, I think. The nice thing about a course this technical with like this spread out of a field, like this much talent with all these hills and stuff, I think if you can come in and run like the kind of race you're hoping to, you can maybe surprise some people and overcome what might not have been the most effective buildup. So yeah. that's what I'm hoping for. Were you thinking at all after the 15K you might pull out or like what changed the last four, four weeks? We definitely talked about it. Um, we went and got, uh, I started working with a nutritionist because um, I've had some low iron levels for a little while and we just could not figure out why they weren't going up without like, you know, I've been taking iron supplements and it just wasn't changing. Finally started working with a nutritionist to figure out like, is there something we can do to change the fueling? And I think we have a pretty good idea of what was wrong. Um, I was I was under fueling kind of in between runs and stuff. And since I've tried to fix that, things have finally started to come around. I've had like, my energy levels are better. I've been able to close out workouts better, which was kind of my big problem. Like that was the thing, the 15K is like, I got out with the pack and then just kind of hit this wall. It was like, there was like a limiter on my speed. I just could not get any faster. And since then that has started to turn around. So kind of the hope is that, you know, I've been doing this for a really long time. There should be plenty of miles in my legs. Maybe I haven't hit like those higher speeds, but like strength should be there. And so if I can just give myself like access to enough energy uh, hope I can kind of make something happen over the end. Yeah. Yeah. What's a good race for you on Monday? Top American. Yeah. I mean, I think we've kind of, I've tried to reset my expectations a little bit just based on how, how poorly those races went. Yeah. So it's going to be more about go up maybe a little bit more conservative um, and try to, you know, if I'm feeling good at halfway, then we can maybe try to chase some people down and, and track them in. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put any like saying like I can't be that place but I also don't want to go out and say like well if I'm not in that top American pack then I should just give up because I haven't met my goals so I'll be honest this is going to be a little bit of a, a wait and see a kind of a feel it out type of race which is not yeah I, the range of outcomes for me is, is pretty huge based on kind of that, that difference between the beginning and the end so yeah I just don't know All right, well, I'm, I'm excited to see too yeah yeah definitely alright well appreciate the time good luck on Monday yeah, thank you